All right, so today we're going to be building a personal portfolio page in Free Cool Camp. Uh, this is how it looks right here, the finished thing. And I'm just going to teach you guys how to pass all the tests. And also, I'll leave a GitHub link in the description down below so that way you'll be able to check it out on GitHub. And then afterwards, I want to show you all this CSS. So, all right, let's get right into it. All right, so the first test is that your portfolio should have a welcome section with an idea of welcome section. That's pretty simple. All you need to do is create a div. Live right there. Then ID of welcome section. Bam, let's run the test. And there we go. Next one. Your welcome section should have should contain a H1 element. Alright. And then we're just gonna say here I am whatever. Alright, control enter. There we go. So and then it passes or uh, you should not have any empty h1 elements within it so that's good next one you should have a project section with an id of projects so with this another div id of projects all right control enter and there we go next one your portfolio should contain at least one element with a class of project title or well, here and we'll just have like let's say a section project tile actually not title tile sorry enter and there we go your project's element should contain at least one anchor element so i'm going to put it around the section right here Control enter. There we go. Your portfolio should have a nav bar with an ID of nav bar. So that'll be up top where the body is. It's a nav ID of nav bar. Alright, control enter. And there we go. Nav bar. Your nav bar element should contain at least one anchor element whose href attribute starts with. That means down here we're just going to add our anchor tag. Hashtag and control into there we go next oh and then this test was also completed your nav bar element should always be at the top of the viewport all right next one your portfolio should have an a element with an id of profiling all right so i'm going to make an anchor element id profile link and control into there we go, that is. Next one, your profiling element should have a target blank. So, target equal underscore blank. Like that. Boom. And then next up, your portfolio should have, should use at least one media query. All right, so to do that, we want to go to styles, that's CSS. Actually, before that, let me make sure, make sure that styles.css, there we go. And going to do at media screen and uh, I'm going to say max width 400 pixels and I'm going to go on now I'm going to say display something simple like text align center and if we run the test, there we go. And that's it, we're finished. Submit, and then, yeah, it should be done. And then you can get your certificate. All right, so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to actually show you guys um, the whole thing. I'm going to explain the HTML and the CSS. And yeah, let's get to it. All right, here is the HTML right here. So if you're building up the full project, this will be it. As you can see, HTML for me was 106 lines of code, and then the CSS was 181. So yeah, that's a lot. And I'm gonna quickly like explain it. And of course, this will be in the GitHub in the description. And yeah, it's the navbar right here. So ID navbar, and then you want to add uh, a 
bunch of list which should be right up here and afterwards you have the welcome section right up here and then you will just see hi i'm mimic which is this right here and then you have the project section which is that so when i built it i just had um you know the trigger page and whatnot so that's it right there and all you're going to do is that you're going to have a whole entire div with projects it should be this whole entire background right here and then i'm going to have a h2 which is these are some of my projects then you're going to have a div which would contain the grid for all these projects and then you want to put them inside of our anchor tag and then yeah create them just like that and the next part is the profile contacts which is basically this so like, let's work together and we're gonna actually make that as well contacts let's work together how do you do a coffee all of that and then for the social profile so this one like the github right here you put id profile link and then yeah and then you just have the footer which would be this thing right down here and it's just a footer and then you have the css way down here so no margin no padding box size and border box and then fun family is this right here railway sun sheriff color for majority of them is basically white f0 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 and then scroll baby is smooth so that way if we click about smooth or contact it's smooth and then we have text direction and all that stuff for the nav bar you have background colors and the position is sticky flakes box shadow all of that and then um unlisted no sorry <laughs> enough more the list your flexed as well there's the margin and all of that so you can check out the css play around with it in the github down below and yeah that's basically the project you can play around with it and practice and yeah that should give you the certificate so let me show you what the certificate actually looks like all right, so this is what the certificate looks like. It has the free call camp logo, the date it was issued, and it shows that this certifies that, and then your name will go down below. It has completed the free call camp.org responsive web design developer certification representing approximately 300 hours of coursework, and then you get all of that. Yeah, and then you can add it and share it, and it shows the projects that you build to get it, and that's really it. So. That's the personal portfolio project for free code camps. So yeah, hopefully it was helpful.